How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we are talking bacon candy, candy bacon. There's a ton of different names for it, billionaire's bacon. It's a sweet, delicious, smoked piece of bacon. It doesn't take very long. You can use it to elevate a lot of dishes, including deviled eggs, salads, burgers, or you can be just like me and eat it as a snack. It is that good. It's super simple. It only requires a few ingredients and about an hour or so of time, depending on what temp you're cooking at. So let's bring in and show you how we're gonna prep our candy bacon. All right, so to prep up our bacon candy, it's gonna be pretty simple. We just wanna take some spray oil, take a grate on a sheet tray, and just give it a nice spray. All these sugars and stuff on this bacon is gonna be caramelizing on there, so we don't want our bacon to stick to this. And we do have some thick cut bacon. I like using thick cut bacon for this. Some people like using the thinner bacon for it. It's not really a huge difference, it's just the thicker cut bacon is gonna be more like a jerky. It's gonna be sweet, a little have a little chew to it. The thinner cut bacon, if you cook it the same amount of time, it's gonna be a little more brittle. Some people like that. I like that more jerky texture. And we also have some dark brown sugar, some maple syrup. This is whistle pig maple syrup. You can use whatever maple syrup you want. I just happen to really like this stuff. And then I also have some Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle My Rub. Just gonna be a nice sweet heat on this. Add a little barbecue zing to it. So let's go ahead and get started. So all we're gonna do is lay out our bacon on our rack. All right, so you can see we have our bacon laid out nice and even. Now we're just gonna come in with some of our maple syrup and we're just gonna do a couple runs on our bacon. This is gonna act as a binder. I'm not usually a big fan of binders, but for this, it's a nice sweet element, a nice maple syrup flavor, nice sweetness. And then we're just gonna go ahead and paint up our slices here. All right, now that we have our maple syrup applied to our bacon, we're gonna come in with my Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle Rub. We're just gonna give a nice, even coat on all the slices of bacon. Kind of press this in, make sure it's nice and adhered to that syrup, and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. We'll come in with our maple syrup, couple runs here, like so. All right, so we got a couple runs on. We'll just spread it out. About like that. Come in with the Ash Kickin' Barbecue Honey Chipotle. And now we have our brown sugar. This is dark brown sugar. I probably have about a cup, cup and a half. And all we're gonna do is just kind of sprinkle this all over. And I'm usually not a proponent of rubbing stuff into the meat when I season it, but we're gonna kind of spread this out and rub it in. And you may not use all the sugar. It just depends on how much bacon you have, but I suggest putting it in a bowl. That way you're not cross contaminating it. So we'll just go ahead and spread that out. And this bacon as it cooks is gonna start to caramelize on there. It's gonna be so, so good. It's gonna be smoky, it's gonna be salty, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be the perfect snack, or like I said, nice topper to salads, elevate your deviled eggs, put it on a burger, it's really good on a burger, but it's also really good just to snack on its own. All right, so now that we have that size seasoned up, we're gonna flip it over and repeat the process on the other side. And this is the side I want up, so that's why I'm putting the brown sugar on there last. I'm not worried if the bottom side falls off, I just wanted to get some on there. The rest of this will caramelize, I'm gonna try not to flip these. If we have to, we'll flip them probably after about 30 minutes, but I'm hoping that they all cook even, get a little smoke on them. And I do recommend cooking on one of these trays. That way you don't have any flare ups from the bacon grease or anything like that and start your cooker on fire. It's gonna catch all that drippings and all that grease. And it's just gonna make your life a lot easier and prevent any misfortunes. So brown sugar all over. All right, and we'll just get that all rubbed in. All right, and that is it for our candy bacon. Like I said, we're gonna cook right on this rack. We're gonna get this out to the Lone Star Grills pellet grill. I have it set at 325 degrees. Now, if your cooker doesn't smoke well at higher temperatures like the Lone Star, you could start this off in smoke mode or 160, let it go for 15, 20 minutes and then crank it up to 325. But basically we want the sugars to caramelize. We want these edges to just start to crisp up. 
It's probably gonna take about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. You kinda gotta keep an eye on it. I'd say let it go for 20 minutes, go out and check it. But if we have to, we'll rotate it after 20, 30 minutes or flip it after 20, 30 minutes. Otherwise, we're just gonna let it go. I promise you this is gonna be a fantastic snack. We might hit it with a little bit more maple syrup towards the end, I'm not sure yet. Kinda be a game time decision on there. So I will meet you outside at the Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill. All right, I'm gonna get this onto the Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill, running at 325 degrees. We're gonna let this go for probably 20 minutes, come out and check it, see if we have to rotate 180 for even cooking, see if we have to flip for even cooking. But generally, if you got a good cooker, you don't have to babysit it too much, you don't really have to flip it. it just all depends on how it cooks. So I'll let this go about 20 minutes and bring it back, we'll see you then. All right, so we are 20 minutes into this cook and you can see all that sugar starting to melt, starting to look really good on that bacon. We still have quite a bit of time to go here, so I'm gonna let this go another 20 minutes. We'll come out and check it and uh, see how it looks, but 20 minutes in, looking fantastic. All right, guys, so we are 40 minutes in on this cook and you can see our bacon is starting to look real good. Starting to get a little crispy edges over here, so that's telling me it's hotter on that side than it is on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this 180 degrees. All right, so that's looking really good. I'm just gonna set a timer for probably about another 10 minutes. That'll put us at 50 minutes total on this cook. Looking really good. I don't think I'm gonna flip these. I think they'll turn out just fine. As long as we can get this side to catch up with that side, we'll be sitting A-okay. So we'll see in about 10, 15 minutes. All right guys, so it has been one hour. I let these go a little bit longer just so they'd finish up. So one hour exactly at 325 degrees. Your results may vary depending on your cooker, but these are looking awesome, nice and caramelized, nice and cooked up just beautifully. So I like to eat these once they get to room temperature or the next day in the fridge after they've been cooled. I don't like to eat them hot like this. They just get better. They get nice and sticky and sweet and pretty pliable, almost like a jerky, like I said. So I'm gonna bring these inside, let them cool, and we will jump in and we will do the taste test. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, so before we jump into the taste test, I just wanted to show you how beautiful our baking candy looks. I'm gonna go pull a piece out here for you. Nice and pliable still like that jerky consistency. This is how I like it. If you want a little more crisp, cook it a little bit longer. Like I said, your cook time's gonna vary, but this is exactly how I like it. Just a little bit of bend to it. This is gonna be fantastic. So let's jump out and let's do the taste test. All right, so here's our beautiful bacon candy. Let's go ahead and try a bite. Salty sweet, sticky, smoky. This is amazing. If you haven't tried this, you gotta give it a try. I mean, it is just pure perfection. Who doesn't like bacon? Excuse me. The maple flavor comes through. The brown sugar flavor comes through. My Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle, just a nice little bit of barbecue, little sweet heat to it. This is, Absolutely awesome. Like I said, if you haven't tried it, it's very simple. Couple ingredients, an hour of your time, and bam, you have a delicious snack that everyone's going to love. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.